Hey guys, it's Merc here. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a LEGO Ninjago crystallized set brand from the brand new wave coming out this summer in August for the USA. However, it is already available um, in most countries that aren't North America. Um, so the first set I'm going to be taking a look at here is set number 71770, Zane's Golden Dragon Jet. It's recommended for ages 7 and up. It has 258 pieces, and this set is about 30 euros, so that's about $30 US. Um, the boxes for this whole crystallized wave are really awesome. I love the pink and purple backgrounds. I'm very excited to see the rest of the season. We're not entirely sure how um, some of this stuff will play into the show, like the Golden Dragon Ninja or, um, you know, but, um, you have this really cool emblem here of Lloyd, which is on the top right-hand corner of all of the set boxes. You get three minifigures in the set, Golden Dragon Cole, Golden Zane, and General Vangelis. Let's take a look at the back of the box here. You do have some more images of... Golden Dragon Cole, Vangelis, and the jet itself, as well as a little image of the play feature there. The jet itself looks super nice. Um, I love the gold accents on it. I mean, we have seen this jet in the show already, but it doesn't have the golden upgrade to it yet. So I'm not sure how it's going to get that upgrade. Maybe it gets golden power or something. I honestly have... No idea, but um, we'll have to wait and see. So let's take a look at, first I want to talk about the instruction manual. So yeah, these new style of instruction manuals kind of suck. At least the covers suck. The cover is really the only change. I mean, as for the actual instructions themselves, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. For some reason, LEGO just decided to change the covers and now they look a lot more bland and i just i don't understand why they did this but this is not just for ninjago this is for every single theme it seems which is really annoying it might not be 18 plus sets um this might just be like regular sets they even changed the back with the whole wind thing movie lloyd is still on the back there though but um you do have your part list and stuff, but the one the one cool thing about these instructions is that there is a nice looking ad in the back for the entire crystallized wave. Um, love the art and the sets look really cool all together there. Probably some of my favorite boxes out of the entire franchise. They just look so awesome. I'm very excited to get the rest of the wave. I'm still waiting on my other sets to arrive. I have this set as well as the temple. And the Golden Ultra Dragon, I'm still waiting for the rest of them to arrive. So now let's take a look at the minifigures. So here we have Golden Zane. This is the one of three versions of Zane you can get this wave. There's the regular version of his new outfit, which comes in the Crystal King Temple. Then you have this Golden version, which comes in this set, and the Golden Ultra Dragon. And then you have the Golden Dragon version of Zane, which comes in Kai's Golden Dragon Raider. So yeah, this is a pretty big wave for um, ninja outfits, especially for the original four. Three versions of each of them. And this is basically a golden upgrade version of his regular outfit from the temple. So we do know they will be getting these upgraded golden suits in the show at some point. And I think this figure looks super good. I love the detailing. The golden shine is super cool. I love the emblem printed on the hood. This hood is not really a new hood except for that print. We already have this hood in this coloring. Um, but there is the hood. Still nice to add the print. It makes it look a lot better. His face is the same face we've been getting for Zane since the Sons of Garmadon wave. And he has the regular Season 11 shoulder armor piece. But in pro gold, of course. You can see the printing on the back, which looks pretty nice. He got his um, 
Ninjargon symbol there. So overall, this is a really cool figure. He's still not a common figure. I mean, he's relatively hard to, to get. I mean, he's only in two sets. This set being the way cheaper of the two. But um, I do really like these golden suits. I think they're really cool. I'm not sure which one I like better. This I might like this one better than the regular one, to be honest. But, um, yeah, so let's move on to the next figure. So here we have Golden Dragon Cole, who is exclusive to this set. He's only in this set, which is pretty cool. All the Golden Dragon Ninja are exclusive to one set. And this is the one set where you can get Golden Dragon Cole. Now, this is a really incredible figure pretty much everything on this figure is brand new the hood mold is brand new this incredible dragon head mold just dual molded in the pearl gold and trans orange just an incredible piece right there this piece is used on all of the golden dragon ninja but of course in their own coloring for the translucent part Brand new face printing for Cole as well. Kai and Jay's Golden Dragon figures reused the face from the core spinners from March. But Cole and Zane did not get spinners, so they get to have new faces, which is the best part about Golden Dragon, Cole and Zane. Of course, he has a katana as his accessory. Take his head off, which is actually on there pretty tight. But, um, let's lay that there. Brand new molding for this armor, by the way. So you can attach the wings to it. I'm not a huge fan that they used blue Technic pins here. I, They should have used, like, black. I don't understand why they used blue, but whatever, I guess. Um, so you can take that off. And you can see the printing on the back with Cole's symbol there. And his symbol on the front. I love how the arms are translucent and the legs as well. These are just really cool figures. They really went full out with these Golden Dragon Ninja, and I'm super happy they did. Um, Cole is the only one I have so far. So I'm very excited to get the other three, who are all exclusive to their own sets they come in. So yeah, let's move on to the third and final figure of the set. So here we have General Vangelis. This is, of course, King Vangelis, Skull Sorcerer himself, even though he's technically not Skull Sorcerer anymore because Cole destroyed the Skull of Hazard there. The most notable thing is this accessory, which is a brand new mold for the Scythe of Quakes. In this also new mold for this crystallized blade hilt to kind of represent the golden weapons being corrupted by these mysterious crystals whatever they are we don't fully understand what they are yet i'm sure the show will have an explanation coming you know forward he also does have this other new mold which is this little crystallized blade piece that they give him um the figure itself is not very exclusive. The only thing exclusive to this figure is really the face print, which even then the design of the face is the same as the Skull Sorcerer head from the Master of the Mountain sets. The only difference is that they recolored um, the eyes and the little diamond shape on his forehead to match the color, the whole color scheme of the crystals. I don't understand why this isn't focusing very good. There we go. I wish they would have added some printing to the mask, um, which I, I really wish they would have, but maybe that would have been hard to do because the, the hat does kind of overlap it a little bit. But um, he does, has, he does have this new crystallized shoulder armor piece, which is pretty cool. You can attach his bat wings to the back the torso and leg printing is new for this wave but it's reused amongst the other generals that have the legs all of them have the same torso but pythor and Asphira don't use the leg printing because you know they they're not you know they don't have legs um you do get a weapon pack 
of that includes all of the golden weapons. So every if you buy every single set from this wave, you will have all the golden weapons. You know, you get a full set of the golden weapons in each set in one of those weapon accessory packs, kind of like the hunted weapon pack um, that was introduced back in summer 2018, which is really great. You will have tons of extras of these if you buy the entire wave, which I am. So I'm going to have a lot of these golden weapons. So let's move on to the actual build now. So here we have Zane's Golden Dragon Jet. We've seen this jet in the show already. Here's the underside so you can kind of see just a little bit more of how some things are built up. We've already seen, we've already seen this jet in the show, except it's not as golden as this. So I'm sure it'll get this type of upgrade towards the second half of the season. But this thing has a really nice, sleek design. Um, it's got a few stickers throughout, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, I believe there's like eight stickers used throughout this thing. You do have this cool cockpit piece molded in, um, translucent, like, aqua blue, I guess you could say. There's really not much going on in the seating area. I mean, enough room to fit zane nicely in there but um you know aside from that there's really um there's no like control panel or anything in there which is pretty interesting they usually do i mean i guess there's this on the windshield which is a sticker of the skull sorcerer i love the use of the um core dragon head this was originally used on jay's thunder dragon evo cool to see this piece recolored and used on the tip of the jet here it works pretty well adds to the golden dragon theming um i love the use of the 2012 spinner crown pieces here in like teal and these blade pieces are new i believe this is like kind of dual molded in like, pearl gold and, like, a translucent, um, light blue. And you got the back here with these thrusters. The main play feature of this set is super easy to transform, and it's super satisfying. So all you do is just push this up, and this jet enters a more, um, threatening attack pose. And... It's super easy to just do it a lot. It's it's a lot of fun to play with this and mess around with it. Um, you will have to put push that part back down, though, I guess. After you're done transforming it. That won't go down by itself, but it's not a huge deal. Um, kind of see how the wings are attached there. I can't really angle it, because these things kind of... You know, the wing kind of gets in the way here. But, um... The, uh, this whole front cockpit area is actually attached by ball joints to the front. You can't really move it, only very slightly. It's not really meant to be moved, but, um, pretty interesting way of attaching that onto the entire rest of the jet. Um, I love the attack pose. It does kind of make the length of it slightly shorter. As you can see here, but um, it's just so fun to transport to you know to constantly do this, and it's a lot of fun. And I really do like the look of it in its attack pose and its regular pose. I mean, it's a fun jet, it does kind of remind me of J Stormfighter, but I do like how they you know it's built up in a way in which the play feature is built up, you know, to where it's something similar to J Stormfighter as well as the, as well as the Kai Fighter. But, um, still its own thing and making it, you know, quite different. So that's what I really like about this set. Um, I mean, I really don't have any complaints. I mean, it is a little bit empty, like, in this area, but that's fine, you know? I believe these two pieces here are new as well. I don't really recognize these pieces. They're definitely a new mold for this wave, I 
think. Um, I might be wrong with that, but um, yeah. So let's move on to my final overall rating for the set. So overall, I really enjoy this set. I think it's pretty solid jet for its price. Price to part ratio, you know, could have been a little better, but it's not a huge deal, especially in comparison to some of the more expensive sets of this wave that are very overpriced, like Kai's Raider and the Golden Dragon. So this is an okay price for this set. You do get some or a pretty decent assortment of minifigures. It would have been cool if they included at least one Vengestone warrior, you know, just to kind of, you know, have an extra, you know, like an actual foot soldier in here. But I'm um, overall, for what this set is, for its price, I think it's pretty good, especially in comparison to, you know, the overpriced sets of the wave. And that will soon to become even more overpriced because LEGO is going to be raising their prices even more that come this August, most likely due to inflation and, you know, increasing production costs, which is really upsetting, especially for Americans who are waiting for these sets to release here in actual, you know, stores here in the U.S. Um, so I recommend um, ordering from overseas, honestly. Um, I mean, I guess it depends where you go, but, um, yeah, I mean, this set luckily will not be overpriced like it'll, it'll stay at its price the smaller sets seem to be staying at their average price so those won't be raised like jay's bike is going to stay 20 this set's going to stay 30 um i think cole's cruiser is also going to stay 45 unfortunately that's 45 it should have been 40 but whatever but for some reason Kai's Raider is going up more, a set that's already overpriced. That set's 90. It's apparently going up to 100, which is ridiculous. The Golden Dragon's going up to 150, I believe. The uh, Samurai Mech is going up to 130. And I believe the Crystal King Mech or Centaur is not going to be an actual mech in the show, most likely, but um, you know, more like an actual creature. I believe that set is going up to 80. Um, I'm not sure if all this is confirmed, but I believe this was confirmed for at least Germany or something. So um, I don't think the temple's going up. I did not hear anything about the temple going up and the smaller sets I don't believe are going up. So yeah, this is quite unfortunate that they have to raise these prices, but for this set specifically, at least the price is not going up. So I definitely recommend this set especially if you're a Ninjago collect collector or completionist, you're probably going to end up getting this set because of Golden Dragon Cole and probably also Vangelis too. I mean, he does have the exclusive head, um, you know. And the jet is cool. I can definitely see Zane fans wanting this set, and I highly recommend it. So I'm going to give this set an 8.5 out of 10. It's not like it's an incredible set or anything, but for its price, I feel like this is a really great little set, fun build. And I do recommend it. So thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more reviews, please let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video.